The entire place is lit by flickering candlelight. A total fire hazard, but very atmospheric. Nice and warm and flickery. I can keep staring, sure. Is that... is that the Lord of Light? Okay, enough of this. She's furry, she doesn't need the warmth. Nice and warm, but I don't need them. This place is plastered with depictions of what I can only assume are ancient Romanian rulers. A little bit cobwebby, but hey, big castle, hard to keep clean. Not one clean-shaven lord from what I'm seeing. Not her type of art. They're cool, but I can't use them in any way. The entire place is lit by flickering candlelight. A total fire hazard, but very atmospheric. Nice and warm and flickery. I can keep staring, sure. Is that... is... Some kind of family crest, maybe? Cool dragon design on it. Man, if I ever get a family crest, dragon it is. I can't go wrong with dragons, it's, it's a proven impossibility. Kitty, did you know that Dracula comes from Dracul, which is Romanian for the devil? And that, in turn, comes from Draco, which means dragon in Latin. And of course, she doesn't care one bit. Kitty, and... and That's a very, very familiar looking guy. Not the same as the one in Foro Maris, but still, where do I know him from? Just kidding, it's Vlad the Impaler! Does this mean current day Vlad is his descendant? Huh, who knows? You know, he really wasn't a vampire, seriously. Most gruesome accounts of his deeds were likely exaggerated, mostly by Saxons who had mad beef with him. Please stop talking. Represent. Please. It's a DJ Bald Beard? I don't know. He's getting real on the wheels of steel. I'm not down for that, yo. You talk to him. He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit-chat. What is it with this movie and rappers? Seriously? What, what, what is the fascination here? It's I, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, it's your little friend we've met. Well, we must be interrupting, but hey, adventurers got adventure. I need her focused. That is the ruler of the castle. He has a very, um, urban vibe around him. Sick cornrows, though, I have to admit. He's a vibin' voivod, that's for sure. I'll let you handle this one, gladly. He's ignoring me. Not a great idea, Buzz.
Whoa, that's quite the sight. That's the old monastery's bell tower surrounded by the castle on all sides. Awesome. I wonder if I'll get a chance to visit. That'd be radical. I so want to get up there. The view must be crazy. There's that cool dragon design on these banners, too. They bring a welcome vertical touch to the sprawling hall. Kitty, did you know that and A very gothic looking chest. Nice. I kind of want to look inside it now. As shoddy as it looks, there's a lock here. Looks like I could take it down easily with the right tool. Yay! Unlocked! Let's see what's inside here. Some vinyls and a gauntlet? Ooh, I like gauntlets. I'm pretty much convinced I need to get myself in there. Yep, that's my destination. She's stealthy, but she... Uh, uh, uh. No one walks further into the castle unless... Unless what? Chill, I was getting to that. Unless they defeat Vlad in battle. Oh, man. I formally challenge you to battle, Vlad. Yeah. Here's the thing I'm telling all contenders all the time First of all, you gotta have a throne before you go for mine You just need my cellar for replacement Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement I don't care about your titles, they don't make you any better For a while, before I came here, I was carrying a letter Good for you. Now, get lost. Yeah, here's the thing I'm telling all contenders all the time. First of all, you gotta have a throne before you go for mine. You just need my cellar for replacement. Ever since back in the days when your mama kicked you off the basement. Nice castle! Please excuse me if I'm laughing still, I've only seen more cobwebs on the shelf where you keep your rapping skills old and forgotten, much like your grandeur is, ancestors on the wall so they can mock you over centuries. Nah, centuries is how long I'll actually be 
laughing at just how wrong you look with that women's shirt that you got on yo it's like i've seen it in my crystal ball and can't forget it's evident your cat's the only that you'll ever get Dude, eyesight playing tricks, hell, your clothes are like booze and decisions, they don't mix well. You look all over the place, I call him like I see him. Let me just channel Indy, he belongs in a museum. You could channel Mr. Jones till you ain't even close And it shows the only dope stuff you're saying a quote So now what's next? You're gonna try the two-headed monkey trick? Kid, I could just say grandfather's name and end the battle quick. battle with you, not with your family name. Your only claim to fame is who your grandpa was? Lame. High born, don't make your high skills automatically. I don't give a fluffy cat's butt about your pedigree. Uh, yeah. It's not my fault, you weak, can't accept your defeat Your name won't ring any bells, there's no buzz on the street Return to the library where you can't belong This ain't a game nerd, you're better off reading the Necronomicon Born librarian, but check the skills I've gotten. I've dealt with black magic and cultists. This is nothing. It's like easy mode, not even trying, having fun. Kitty, cover up this fool with some litter, cause he's done. I can't, I can't, I can't stop rhyming. There's something wrong with me, I can't stop rhyming. Yo, my words are lethal. Syntax too sick for your feeble comebacks. Give me any tracks to spit on. I'm sicker than fish with people. I'm even sicker than their vicar. Seen too much craziness. Dark come to Transylvania, man. It's all a hazy mess. I'm even harder to impress. There's cultists coming after me. Compared to what I've been through, this rap battle's been a laugh to me. Ever read the Necronomicon? Please get back to me. Now I got a crazy cat that's talking smack to me. Sound like fun? Nah, it's one of those raw deals. Like it feels like a superpower, but it only works when she feels like it. I'm going nuts, that's what's cracking. Hey, this talk of crazy huge monsters in the crack can bay. Who knows what's next? One problem at a time, that's how I'm at it. I'm turning alcoholics into caffeine addicts, getting bombed by cultists, dodging their dark lords, dreading esoteric orders, hating tourist boards. I'm never bored, never a dull moment since this started. When your cat freaking remembers every single time you farted, I just roll with it. There's stuff that I don't get, kind of amazing. How do I carry so much crap without a backpack, man? It's crazy. I stop and stare at everything. Thing, not even blinking, then rubbing everything on everything. What am I thinking? Whether in Darkham, Fishmouth, or Romania, just stop and talk to random people. It's a mania. The crap I have to pull just to get some answers, like dividing hearts, counting pieces for some crazy passwords. If it ain't one thing, then it's another. Like drinking vegetable oil and fire water? Ugh, this world is crazy, surreal, freaking foul and dark. Solomonars, masks, and cats that growl and bark. Anyway, I'm out of here. Gotta find my cat a remedy. Peace. I'm on my way to more insanity. Cat? Let's dig deeper into the bowels of the castle and find peace. Roger that. I'll scout ahead and- Not so fast, kitty. I'm going in first. I need to make sure it's safe. I can take care of myself, Kerwin. Plus, I'm stealthy, so... Nonsense. You're a girl, after all. It is my solemn masculine duty to keep us both out of harm's way. Oh, God. Fine, you dingus. Go ahead. Lead. Watch. Closely, you might learn a thing or two. Death from above! Ah! Whoa, wait, what the? Peace, Busara. Whoa. Y yes. Who's asking? What is this? Who's making it talk? It. Tread carefully, human. We're here to... I don't know what tricks you're pulling, Butcher, but I'm not going down without a fight. 
No butcher here. I'm a real bona fide talking cat. Stop struggling and listen. Never! <sighs> I tried. Listen, peace. How do you do this? Talk? A little book called The Necronomicon? Ever heard of it? No. Are you kidding me? No way. Way. Oh, this... this is... this is crazy. Calmed down yet? Ugh. Listen, me and Buzz over there have come here looking for you. Your dad sent us. Oh, yeah, sure. If that's so, why haven't you untied him? Think of it as an educational pursuit. He's currently learning to stop underestimating me. Well, if we're on the same side, just set me free. In due time, got some planetary mess to take care of first. Why did you tie up my friend? He's completely harmless. Why don't you set him free then? Not yet. He is learning something valuable. Uh huh. Got anything out of your weird buddy over there? As a matter of fact, I did. Like the whereabouts of Baron Ferenczi? Mm, maybe. I'm listening. Again, we're on the same side. As soon as you untie me, kitty. Greetings, biped. Up to the left, then up to the right, then up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello, kitty. What's your name, buddy? Hey, kitty cat. I'm Nelu. I have strong legs. You sure do. What's with all the planet stuff, Nelu? Ooh, I love my planets. It used to be an astromo. Uh, astromo. Astronomer? That's it. Then one day, big metal tube you look at starts to hit me right in the head it did. Bonk! Baron, let me move in here and play with planets if I guard the gate. Hatches! Everywhere we go! Hatches! Now I guard the gate. Now I play with planets. Now I play with planets. Now I guard the gate. So, how do I open this gate, Nelu? Oh, I'm not allowed to tell little kitty cat. Baron says no one allowed. Only they look for it down there. Look for what? I don't know for sure. Big, big bat, I think. Big, big bat. Sure. Up to the left, then up to the right, then up to the middle, and back up to the right. Hello, kitty. I can't reach it from here. Jumping conditions not adequate.
Jumping conditions not adequate. the little kitty in your face humans I've been enjoying this but I guess I'll be untying you two now please tell me what is going on here all right let's take it from the top so this bozo walks in one night with a weird book and starts reading from it. Thus realizing he was singing the sequence to push the capstones in. Thus yet again proving feline superiority. Anything you want to say, Buzz? <sighs> I'm sorry for doubting you. A also, glad we finally found you, Peace. <sighs> well, if Father trusted you too, I guess I should too. So, where is this Baron? It seems like him and his goons are about done with what they came to do here. And they're heading over to Fishmouth. Ugh, not again. Let's head down that hatch right now. And we might still catch him before they're off. Uh, after you, ladies. Looks like we're too late. The Baron's left already, and it seems he got what he was looking for. Who's this Baron? Why were you looking for him? What is he after? Baron Frenzy. Just one of the many names the Butcher goes by. We're both looking at the same thing here. What do you think it is they've dug out of that rock there? Looks like... wings? Oh my god, that's just like in the legend! Precisely. You shall never dismiss local myths as complete nonsense. A huge pair of dragon wings, that's what they got away with. Nothing we can do about it now, Carrier. No end to the work. Dragon wings? Just like in the legend, but hey, I'm, I'm prepared to believe anything at this point. What does this guy need them for? They do call him the Butcher. So I can only assume the worst. Oh, right. 
No end to the work. What does that mean, Peace? How much of the book have you read? I read a bit of it once. It made Kitty start to talk. I was frankly too terrified to examine it since. Open it at the very last page. It's... it's writing itself. The work is just another name for the Necronomicon, and it literally has no end. Yet. Yet? Nothing lasts forever, right? One can hope. So wait a minute, does this mean... I don't know exactly what it means to be truthful. No one really does. What we do know is that it can change reality around it. And it might be controlled while doing so. Not by Buzz. Did you just call me Carrier? That seems to be your role, yes. Again with this deterministic nonsense. That's a mighty big word there, buddy. The book shows you to carry it, and there's nothing you can do about it. The other. Almstein is not like us. You think or you know? Neither. I believe. What does that make you? I'm a hunter of evils. <laughs> like your dad, huh? He's more of a protector of the other. So everyone has their little role in this production, huh? What's Kitty's then? I, uh... I don't want to speculate on that. Smart girl. Uh, never mind. Was it you who installed the communications jammer? I was trying to sabotage the Baron. Much good did that do. You gave us quite the headache. Literally. Sorry, I guess? How did you get past Vlad and his DJ friend? Did you have to bust out some dope rhymes? Oh, <laughs> what? No, I'm stealthy. I don't think they even suspect what happened going on underneath them. So what's her next... Wait a minute, my, my phone's ringing. But we're deep underground. Everything's upside down around here. Don, is that you? Finally. Where the heck were you guys? I've been calling forever. Long story. The butcher was here, but he gave us the slip. We did find peace. She's here with us. Hold on, I I'm putting you on speaker. Hello. Uh, yeah, hi. So I found what was hidden in Flamel's abode. The stabilizing element! Yeah, a piece of paper with one phrase written on it. What phrase? I have it right here. One sec. A terrible storm, and three bells ringing throughout it, shall awaken the beast. A terrible storm. This freak temp is a Hurricane Herbert, if it's to be taken literally. I seem to just nearly miss it every time I get somewhere. Until one day you won't. Three bells. There's a bell in this castle. I wonder if it has anything to do with this. And there was a bell above Flamel's place where I found this. So we look for a third one, huh? If Awakening the Beast really is what we want. Good point. <laughs> well, is it? Oh, well, that sounds exciting at least. I have enough excitement in my life already. Shall Awaken the Beast? Yeah, that part is a little unnerving. It is a little, true. Yeah, I feel the same. It probably still needs to happen, right? Most likely, yes. It probably does. Whatever that means. So this was the constant Barnabas told me about. The stabilizing element. If only we actually knew what that meant. The Necronomicon is ever-changing chaos. If Olmstein wrote it down, whatever this phrase describes, will probably happen, for better or worse. This is all fine and dandy, but what do we do next? I'm convinced the Butcher's left for Fishmouth, with a pair of dragon wings in tow. Fishmouth? Their evil festival should be in full swing by now. Ugh. You and Kitty shouldn't be showing your faces here again. It's my turn to follow this butcher deep into fish with stinking guts. 
Not without looking like one of them creepy cultists, you're not. You need to see the voodoo gentleman about a disguise, Mr. Katype. The password is Fidelio. Tell him Kitty says hi. All right, kids. Head on over to my office. I'll meet you there once I'm done with the butcher. <laughs> <laughs>